Madhu Buhari has urged all Nigerians to live peacefully with one another and do their utmost to make Nigeria a beautiful place to live in. The president made a call in his 2017 Easter message to Christians. He congratulated Christian brothers and sisters on the celebration and assured them of government's commitment to meet the expectations of Nigerians by improving security, especially in the Northeast. A sustained campaign against corruption and revitalize the economy. He said it is only when there is peace that Nigerians will rediscover the values of peaceful coexistence, social justice, religious tolerance, a dignity of labor and patriotism. The president, however, urged Christians to imbibe the virtues of love, faith, a sacrifice, dedication, commitment, a fulfillment of prophecy, hope, expectation, and victory as espoused in the scriptures, the teachings and lifestyle of Jesus Christ. Now we move to Kano State where Hizba, popularly called Sharia Police, has promised the residents a hitch-free Easter celebration. The promise was made by the Director General of Hizba, Abba Sufi, who said they have put necessary measures in place to ensure that there are no breakdown of law and order during the festive period. We assist the police in controlling gathering. We, in as much as possible, in Kano, they used to have like recreational activities for children. We post our cops to various event centers to take care of the boys so that the boys will not see something that is not decent at that age for them to see. Hizba, which was set up in 2004 through an act of Kano State House of Assembly, is focused on ensuring the obedience of Sharia law according to the dictates of the Quran. The Director General called on the residents of the old city of Kano not to let down their guards, but to remain vigilant. He asked residents to report every suspicious object or persons promptly to the nearest security personnel. The citizens of Kano is to be security conscious. We have to be security conscious. Know the person next to you. No, try and security officers or the security guards that in any place they should try as much as identify suspicious objects, suspicious movements. They should put it to the relevant authorities so that we will not have any problem in the state. Sharia police has been known to arrest members of many gatherings that involve men and women drinking alcohol in Kano State. And in the spirit of Easter now, the Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, Polinos Eze Okafo, has advocated that more support be given to the less privileged in the society. The bishop presented food items and cash gifts to the needy at St. Patrick's Cathedral in Oka, the Anambra State capital, during his annual meeting with the poor. The beneficiaries, drawn from all denominations across the state, rejoiced and expressed appreciation. Today is Holy Saturday, and um, we are talking of Christ who has risen from the dead, and we are looking forward towards heaven. But we know also that our brothers and sisters who are really in difficulties, and uh, this time around, uh, it has been our routine that every Holy Saturday we come together. Let us, people have given us, we try to share with them. People give me so many things, they don't give these things to me that I'll finish them. I cannot, there is no way. Them. So on a day like this, I try to kind of get those things I feel I should share with others. And to share that with these people, type of people, is most interesting. And I'm happy, they're happy. The clergy also admonish the beneficiaries and not to engage in crime. Other persons who witnessed the occasion made commendations. Uh, 
a minister must consider the poor. Because Jesus Christ himself considered the poor, all of us, that was why he came into the world and uh, died on the cross. So if you're a church minister and you're having private jail, then there is aberration. So it is an abuse on the material things they acquire from the people of God. Because they get those things from the people of God by any means. So if they are legitimately acquired, they must be legitimately used for the good of the poor, for the good of that particular church, and also for the good of those working in that particular church. Well, everybody, the, the hunger in the land is too much. So everybody wants to key into an opportunity. And uh, for us, it goes to, to make us to rethink about uh, the charity process. I think from next year, uh, based on advices, I think we might be calling on our politicians to support this kind of platform so that they meet the real indigent people. A correspondent, Ajibadia, will first report that about 430 women, 335 men, and 240 all received food items and fruits. And away from Anambra State now, it was a samba, a thought provoking and emotional at the inaugural annual Chiba Girls Lecture that held at the Congress Hall of Transcorps Hilton, Abuja, to mark the third anniversary of the abduction of the Chibok schoolgirls. The event was organized by the Bring Back a Girls group. 21 out of over 200 Chibok girls who were abducted have been released, leaving 195 in captivity. A correspondent, Gopri Obimiata, reports. This has all the trappings of an intellectual event, except for it being a sad reminder of the incident of three years ago at a small community of Chibok in Bruno State, where over 200 school girls were abducted by Boko Haram from their dormitories in the cover of the night. With a foremost academic like Professor Grace Alele Williams being the chair of the inaugural edition of the Arnold Chibok Girls Lecture, she effectively set the tone for the event with her opening speech. This is the third year completed. We can't bring them back. Isn't this a shame? Everybody talks about great Nigeria. How wonderful we are as a country. Why have we not been able to bring the chief of girls back? The Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II, who was meant to be the guest lecturer, made his appearance via video message while his daughter Shahida Sanusi read his paper titled Chibok and the Mirror in Our Faces, Some Reflections on Gender in Our Society. And in both platform, the traditional ruler called for greater action in tackling gender-based issues in Nigeria. We must remember that they constitute only a fraction of the victims of this insurgency. I would urge BBOG, while we keep this issue of Chibok on the table, to broaden your message to cover all girls and boys abducted by Boko Haram, and also draw attention to the condition of girls and women in our society in general. The passionate call for the Nigerian government to consider the plight of the parents of the 195 school girls still in captivity resonated throughout the hall in the course of the event. Their parents, 19 of them have died so far. Parents are dealing with high blood pressure. Parents are dealing with diseases and ailments that are related to the fact that their daughters are still missing. She called on the president, President Muhammad Buhari, to come to her rescue. As the father of this nation, we await. The event took a very emotional twist when Mrs. Rebecca Samuel was asked to speak on behalf of the parents of the missing Chibok schoolgirls. This 
has been an event of many passionate, thought-provoking speeches with a call for the release of the Chibo girls being the main thrust. Sadly also, it may be so next year. From the Transcorp Hilton Hotel, I'm Godfrey Bimeta reporting for Galaxy News. This is Galaxy News. We'll be right back after the short break. Join us again. You're welcome back. Now the governor of River State, Inyesom Uike, has given the federal government a seven-day ultimatum to return the $43 million found in a luxury apartment in Okoi to the River State government or face a legal action. Governor Uike disclosed this at the government house in Port Hackett, the River State capital. All this is your yard and I did. This is Fake. And I stop this embarrassment, embarrassment government. You can't claim what you don't have. The money belongs to the master government. Who is from the former government of the state? They should return the money to us. Yes? We take all the guys that to challenge. If federal government does not move out of the state government, Nigeria will not be good. What is happening is God is exposing them. God is exposing them. They should bring that money back. Governor Wicke said investigations by River State Government revealed that the money was a process from the sale of gas at turbines by the immediate past River State Governor Rotimi Amechi. As I speak to you now, the first one is so embarrassed that is a look. We cannot allow this if the people, if people know that this money is from one of their own uh, ministers who sponsored them in the election, then the government is as good as being collapsed. And so this story they are hearing, and I am coming to own up. <laughs> it's not right here. No, there. Addressing journalists, the governor recalled that in 2015, he told Nigerians that the gas turbines built by former governor Peter Odili were sold to Sahara Energy, business partners of former governor Rotimi Amechi, at $319 million. He said the money found was part of the money that was stolen and found in Ikoi, Lagos. We move now to Edo State, where Governor Godwin Obaseki has reassured the people of the state of his commitment to make life better for them. Obaseki disclosed this at a road show while celebrating his victory at the Edo Governorship Election Petition Tribunal in Benin. Our correspondent Gabriel Odia filed the report. Addressing a huge crowd of Edo people, including party faithful and other well meaning Nigerians who joined the governor to celebrate his victory on the street of Benin are the Deputy Governor Philip Schwaibel and former Governor of the State's Comrade Adams Oshomole and Chieftains of the Party. Obaseki used the occasion to thank God and also hail the judiciary. The victory is coming after five months since assuming office as Governor of the State. Behind our party, APC, and our government, we thank God, we thank the judges, we thank our councils for an amazing job they've done. And we want all of you to go back peacefully and observe a wonderful holiday, a wonderful Easter. Meanwhile, his deputy, Philip Schweibel, and the former governor, Adam Soshomale, on the celebration train, remarked that what God has designed, nobody can alter it, assuring the people of the present administration's commitment to developing the state. The celebration after going round major streets of Benin finally stopped at the government house where they hosted many to lunch just as a celebrated Good Friday. Now the speaker of 
Ondo State or your State House of Assembly, Michael Adeyemo, has absorbed the leadership of the House of any complexity in the crisis trailing the appointment of caretaker chairman of local government councils and local government de development areas in the state. Recall that some members of the House had decried the swearing in of nominees not screened by them. Of the nominee for the two, the two local government, Irepo and Asabari, we even receive a letter of their nominee again. So we have, for the three local government, we already have a letter from the executive for their confirmation by the House. But in view of the development, we want to clear the one on ground before we give, uh, before we consider the two letters from the executive. Concerning the council areas and local council development areas with two chairmen, the speaker said such abnormality cannot stand. As far as we, we are concerned, if we are cleared and we are not sworn, we can't say you are the chairman. If you are confirmed by the House and you are yet to take the vote of office, you remain not the chairman. You are not the chairman yet. And if you are replaced and you are sworn in, so to say, are not confirmed by the House, you can parade yourself as chairman. You're watching Galaxy News.